are you? Come out and face me! I want to make beam decks, that's what I want to do. Oh, now I'm big wolf now. <laughs> it's too easy. Remember, he was that big in the story, so... Yeah, I want to make beam decks. That's what I want to do.
Oh, now he's got clothes on. <laughs> Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my... He's a very good friend. This is just a precaution. Or she, yeah. I think it's she, right? I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Oh, crap. You're not a killer? Then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. I thought I he was a crooked man. The... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Oh, cool. Do you cool. Really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation mm -hmm. to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling there's a twist. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. No, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. 
Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could what you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can it's I It's a very good attention? deck. I liked it. Thank you all for coming what here on such it? short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? You'd better shut your fucking mouth if you want to keep it. Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? How about I go ahead and kill you right now? In front of all these people? Do I look like I give a shit? After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. But only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary mm. support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. <laughs> now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where path. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then. we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really going this to let is him about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly. Even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. Oh boy, reason, I wanna see how I did that. <laughs> he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit! Crazy. If you were so offended by it, why'd you cover it up then? If it had nothing to do with you and your shit, then why'd you try to protect him for so what long? What cover-up? I never made any attempt to hide Georgie's criminal activity from you. I learned of it myself for very fuck's recently. For sake. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. 
You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything.